Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the new 52 Batman figure that was produced by Mattel as a part of the DC Comics Batman Unlimited line of products. I picked this up at Walmart for $15.99. When I first got the figure out of the blister pack, I liked the figure's overall appearance. I really feel that this is a very nice likeness of Batman. I like that the uniform is very shiny and that the musculature of the figure is also nicely detailed. The cape is made of a soft plastic and is flexible, but it is not removable. However, I do question why Mattel chose to put what appears to be a serial number in plain view on Batman's left boot. It's just my opinion, but I really think that that was a very poor choice of spots to put it. The articulation joints on this figure worked quite well out of the packaging. I had no problem moving the head, shoulders, upper biceps, elbows, wrists, the mid-abdominal crunch joint, hips, knees, or ankles. I am a bit concerned about this figure's neck joint as it feels very fragile when I move it. Paint apps uh, on this figure were done fairly well for the most part. I did find some bubbling on the bat symbol of Batman's costume, the one that you see there on his chest, but I, I really feel that it does not detract that much uh, from the figure's overall appearance. There were also some chipping issues on his knees, but those were quite minor. So let me pause here, zoom in, and I'll give you a closer look as to what Batman looks like. Okay. Now, just like the Injustice Batman figure that I've previously reviewed, New 52 Batman uh, did not come with any accessories or figure stand. And once again, I was very disappointed to see that, as I would have liked to have either a figure stand or some accessories, like maybe some batarangs to pose Batman with. So what I'll do now is a quick 360 of uh, this New 52 Batman figure, and let you see what he looks like from all sides. So here he is from the front. Okay, here he is from the left. Here he is from the rear. The right hand side. Finally, here we are once again from the front. So overall, I'd have to say that uh, the new 52 Batman, it, it's not that bad. Uh, I like the costume's appearance, but uh, having that numbering on his left boot uh, is a bit distracting. But hopefully I'll be able to find some matching paint and I'll be able to take care of that problem myself. The neck joint issue is of concern to me, but uh, I also don't like that there were no accessories or a figure stand included. I mean, the figure stands pretty well on its own, as you can see, but I, I just think it would have been nice if Mattel had put, you know, a figure stand or at least some accessories in, uh, in the package. I, I just, I question that. But in spite of the problems that I encountered with this figure, um, I, I really think that this uh, new 52 Batman, it deserves a, a good recommendation. I think it's a good addition to anyone's Batman or DC Comics Unlimited collection. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.